Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create the program which will activate the DLL actually on the server. So we'll go for a server activated object. Okay, the object itself will be called show capital and in this case it will have a method called show. We'll pass in country and hopefully it will turn back a string from there. So we'll create a little standalone program. to activate it. So let's call this new class to So the first thing we do is that uh, we add in our references. So we need to first bring in our remoting. So it's the runtime. System.runtime.remoting is the DLL that we need. And then we'll add in our recently created DLL. I should find it's in here. Okay, so that gives us a reference to remoting and also to the DLL that we've created. So to save time, what we'll do is we'll just copy and paste okay so this is going to activate the the object and listening on port 1234 TCP port 1234 uh, and then it will be a single call to it so we'll invoke it it will return a result and then it will quit Okay, so maybe if we have a look here, this is what we're doing. Okay, so the server object is here. This is the program we're creating. It will listen on port 1234, and then next what we'll do is we'll create a client and connect to the remoting system through a TCP channel. And this is what's described as a server activated object. Okay, so that succeeded. So we can run that if we want, but it won't actually do that much because we now need to create the client which will be able to connect to this server. Uh, 